Ladies and gentlemen, we invite viewers to watch the English Chinese news on the essential TV channels of Dongnai Province. Yesterday, the working delegations from the Ministry of Justice, led by Comrade Mai Lung Khoi, Deputy Minister of Justice, conducted an inspection on administrative reform work related to the legal sector, household registrations in two words, Thong Yat and Tân Han, Binh Hoa City. During the inspections, the delegations conducted surveys and checks on the input of information and data of civil servants responsible for household registrations, as well as the process of receiving information and interacting with the National Public Service software. They also identified shortcomings and difficulties in the implementation process. Through discussion, it was noted that the simple computer operation methods Software and interactions with citizens have been upgraded and sufficiently equipped. However, the rapid increase in users and data has led to the system slowness affecting digitization process. If the progress occurs errors, adjustment process can be complex. The implementations of administrative procedures according to Project 6 by citizens is still limited in some aspects. The National Wide Electronic Household Registration System of the Ministry of Justice is slow and prone to errors, making it time-consuming to monitor, update, and process. Working with the delegations, the Department of Justice of Dongna Province proposed a reconsideration of the database using the digitization process and emphasized the importance of personal data privacy. The Provincial Military Command and the Provincial Police have organized a signing of cooperation agreement to implement response to natural disaster, search and rescue operations, fire and explosion preventions, forest firefighting, and agency protections on the provincial territory, phase 2023 to 2028, at the Provincial Military Command of Dongnai Province. According to the content of the agreement, the Provincial Military Command and Provincial Police proactively coordinate with various sectors to develop advisory plans for the party committee and local authorities to build coordinated operational plans. Speaking at the conference, Vice Chairman of People's Committee of Dongnai Province, Nguyen Thị Huang, emphasized the significance of coordinations between military units and police in fulfilling their task. Through the conference, based on the signed plans and arrangement, units have effectively organized training activities and conducted simulations closely related to real situations. The Provincial Military Command and Provincial Police serve as advisory bodies for the Provincial Party Committees and People's Committee in leadership, directions, and implementations coordination. At the Saigon Tech Saigon Fabric International Exhibitions for the Textile, Garment Industry, Machinery, and Fabric Raw Materials, the Vietnam Textile and Garment Associations organized a digital transformation workshop, the Optimal Choice for Sustainable Development of Vietnam's Textile and Garment Enterprise, Applying ERP System and 3D Cloud Design Software. During the workshop, businesses have focused on discussing and sharing their digital transformation journey with solutions and experiences using WFX software ERP system to enhance supply chain management efficiently in the textile and garment industry. The importance of 3D digital transformations for sustainable garment productions and 3D cloud design software was also emphasized. Ms. Chan Thi Ha, General Director of Brosport, trade company stated, WFX software can enhance supply chain efficiently from input to output, as well as financial matters. Ms. Nguyen Thi Hong Phu, Deputy General Director of PPJ Group, mentioned, The Vietnamese textile and garment industry faces difficulties in inventory management. With digital transformation, PPJ has been able to manage inventories for each categories. Representatives of Vietnam Textile and Garment Association 
expressed their hope that these solutions would bring values and efficiency to businesses, enabling textile and garment enterprise leaders to apply digital transformations, not only bringing significant benefits to the business, but also helping to save human and natural resources, reduce water, reduce environmental emissions, and develop sustainably in the future. Ms. Nguyễn Thị Tuyết Mai, Deputy Secretary General of Vietnam Textile and Garment Associations, emphasized, We must go through the process of digital transformations, aiming for automations and smart manufacturing to avoid labor competition. According to the Vietnam Textile and Garment Associations, digital transformation is essential to achieve the goal outlined by the approved government strategy. However, the implementations of digital technologies in the Vietnamese textile and garment industries is still modest due to various reasons. This is the challenge that many textile and garment businesses need to make efforts to overcome and have a roadmap for early implementation. According to the Department of Transport of Dong Nai Province, currently Dong Nai Province has licensed and managed 98 inland ports and wharfs. Among these, there are 69 ports and wharfs for goods and construction materials, and 29 passenger wharfs along rivers. In the coming year, Dong Nai Province will continue to implement and soon complete the system of key transportation routes, which play a significant role in promoting economic, social development, industrializations, and urbanizations of the province as well as connecting to the national transportation system and key economic regions in the south, such as Ben Lup Long Thang Expressway Project, Yo Zay Phan Thiet Expressway, Yo Zay Tân Phu Expressway, Bien Hoa Vũng Tàu Expressway, Ring Road 3 and Ring Road 4. Especially when the Long Thang International Airport Project goes into operations, Dong Nai Province will become one of the attractive destinations for investors. In order to achieve the Sustainable Poverty Reduction Goal and the movement for the poor leave no one behind, the Standing Committee of Vietnam Fatherland Front and all levels has collaborated various sectors and member organizations to mobilize individuals, organizations and enterprises through various forms. During the term 2019 to 2024, from provincial to grassroots levels, the Front has mobilized nearly 3,900 billion Vietnam Dong. They have built and repaired 2,960 houses of affection, with a total value of over 162 billion Vietnam Dong, provided production capital support for 6,507 poor and disadvantaged households, totaling 32.4 billion Vietnam Dong supported visits, medical examinations, and treatment for over 1.2 million people, provided scholarships and bicycles to over 80,000 students. 